So here's a my math lab problem on the same same type of thing. Uh, find the center and radius of the circle. And so you want to start by grouping terms. And when I group terms, I'm going to group them this way. So I'm going to group my x terms, x squared plus 2x, and I'm going to leave a space because I know I'm going to complete the square. And then I'm going to group my y terms, y squared minus 6y, and again, leave a space so that you can complete the square. Then is equal to, bring that negative 86 over and it becomes positive 86. When you complete the squares, Uh, for the x's, take half of the coefficient of the x term, half of 2, and square it. Half of 2 is 1, 1 squared gives you 1, and so you want to add 1 inside of the group, and then add 1 to the right side of the equation, so that the equation stays balanced. And then for the y terms, we're looking at negative 6. You want to take half of negative 6 and then square it. Half of negative 6 gives you a negative 3 squared gives you 9. So I'm going to add 9 inside the second group and add 9 to the right side. Next, we want to factor. Factor. And x squared plus 2x plus 1 will factor into x plus 1 squared. y squared minus 6y plus 9 factors into y minus 3 squared. On the right side, you want to simplify. See, 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 86 gives you a 96. So from here, we can identify the center and the radius. Notice that our center at the point HK, H, this has to be minus uh, negative 1, is negative 1, k is 3, and the radius is the square root of 96. Now in this case we can simplify. The square root of 96 can be broken up into, uh -oh, into uh, 96 is 16 times 6, square root of 16 is 4. So you get 4 square root of 6 is the radius. Radius is 4 square root of 6. Center is at the point negative 1, 3. This is center. Here's the radius. Okay, and our last